Peace, peace, family. Today, it's time to smudge. You know, go on the sage. Got a little bit of sage. I'm gonna use some Palo Santos. I'm gonna uh, kind of um, bring in the new year. You know, being that it's April. You know, the rebirth of nature. You know, it kind of starts the new year with one night. So um, let's get rid of any uh, stagnant, negative energy. You know, unbalanced energy. Let's bring in some clean, balanced, positive energy. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, we're finna buy some sage. Let's get this sage lit. You know, you should always do, like, some type of spiritual cleansing. Whether when you come in, you know, you sage yourself, or you smudge yourself with sage, Palo Santos, uh, you spray some Florida water when you wouldn't when not. Uh, take a salt bath or some type of spiritual bath, you should do some type of cleansing because energy is like germs, you know. Everything that you uh, gather in the mundane or on the outside, the real world, you know, you carry that back to the crib with them or not. So, never smudging. You always want to start yourself. So, you always want to get the ori, or the head, or your crown chakra. And as always, you know, I sage or smudge in the form of an ankh. And you want to come to get your hands, palms of your hands. Same thing with your feet. You want to get the sole of your feet. Now, King Norma, why did you just mention... Top of your head, or your crown chakra, the ori, palm of your hands, and the soles of your feet. Because this is where incubus and succubus spirits can enter in. So you always want to cleanse them areas. At least, you know, once a month, you kind of want to smoke yourself out. Meaning you want to, like, burn some uh, Palo Santos with some sage. Or even some yerba santo, you know what I'm saying? Santo, you know what I mean? Like some holy herb. Or if not, um, some frankincense or some myrrh as well. Because you kind of want to cleanse yourself out, smoke yourself out. You know, I kind of do that once every two weeks, you know. I get butt naked one one night and just squat over top of my cauldron. You know, smoke myself out, you know what I mean? So, you know, massaging and smudging. You would also like to, um... You would also like to, um, let's say if you have a two-story home, you want to stop immediately everything that you're doing. If you have a two-story home, cleanse yourself. You want to sage or you want to smudge from top to bottom and, of course, from the back to the front, getting all four corners of every room, every wall. You want to get all the window seals, all the doors front to back and all closets. And as you work your way to the front, you would like to open up a window and the main door. So in that way, whatever negative energy that you're trying to get rid of has a place to leave. Now, let's say you want to do a little bit extra. Do some real spring cleansing when it would not. Um, you can take some ammonia and do the same thing. Wipe every window seal, the front and back of every door, Door knob, you know what I mean? Um, you want to get all closets, wouldn't would not. You know, just do a little wipe down around the threshold of every, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I'm saying? Top to bottom, wouldn't would not. And same thing, open up that door or open up a window. Now, let's say you want to mop with ammonia. Same thing, you want to mop from the back to the front, opening up that front door or a window to let that negative energy out. Now, let's say if you have carpet. If you have carpet, you can dilute, you can dilute some ammonia, mix it with some water, spray generously from the back to the front with carpet, vacuum from the back to the front 
your carpet and whatever you throw away in your trash can and put it in the trash bag, you want to take that trash bag out and throw that away. So in that way you can release all that negative energy, you know. But usually when you uh, do an ammonia cleansing with uh, some type of smudging, that's because you have some like negativity or some negative spirits. So you kind of want to draw those spirits out or, you know, dry those spirits out when we're not. So, you know, it's always good to use some sage. Sage is good for, you know, protection, removing negative energy, cleans out an area. You know, sage is very good. Very, very good for cleansing. When it not, sometimes you gotta purge the aura, cleanse your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta renew your wards and your shields. You know, just stay on top of the game. Because so much spiritual attack on our melanin, you know. Stay at home order. You're not going outside to get melanin. What is melanin? Melanin is condensed sunlight. So if you're not getting sunlight, then you're not getting vitamin D. So if you're not getting vitamin D, then you're then you're probably under depression or anxiety. And those things can trigger disease with or whatnot. So you want to go out and get that sun, you know, and kind of, you know, empty melanin up. You know, like I said, it's an attack on the crown chakra, the ori. On the third eye and the pineal gland, you dig what I'm saying? So you know, you can smudge with sage, what and what not. You can use mugwort, but mugwort is more for divinatory purposes. You can even use yerba santos or santa. You know what I'm saying? Like holy herb, what and what not. But you know, I'm going to put this back in my abalone shell. And now I'm going to bring out palo santos. Palo santos is for cleansing as well and removing negative energy and removing negative energy, prosperity, and it is also for balancing the chakras. Palo Santos. A lot of people, whenever they light candles or do any type of spiritual work, prefer to use, um, prefer to use matches over lighter because the lighter is gas fuel, you know. A match is more of nature, you know, from from wood, you know what I mean? So you got that, that earth element always present. It's wood to wood, you know what I mean? If you, you know, like the Palo Santos, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, doing a little bit of cleansing one and one night, getting rid of negative energy. You know, some people like doing it in the form of a cross, representing the crossroads. Representing the crossroads and you know the four elements. Like I said, I always like doing mine in, in the shape of an unk. You know what I mean? I like to spiral mine up sometimes because energy spirals up. So it's kind of like me, you know, spiraling that energy up when I'm not points in my area. But yeah, most definitely. Um, this definitely attack, you know, on the crown chakra, the, the ori, you know what I'm saying? Your head, your higher self. And you know, it's also kind of like distorting our melanin. You know, if you're not going outside getting any sun, then you fall under depression and anxiety. Not getting any melanin, you're probably getting sick. You know what I mean? Got to get that melanin. Got to amplify the third eye. Because melanin is what? Condensed sunlight. <laughs> and we get our soul from the solar system. That's why it's called the solar system. So, you know, I always want to do a little cleansing window and not, but I ain't done. I'm about to get back to it. I'm about to light this Palo Santos again. Like I said, I'm cleansing here, family. I'm cleansing together. You know, I expect everybody to be doing the same that's on the spiritual path. You want to do some type of cleansing. And if you didn't know, well, now you know. And then once you know, you have to remember that ignorance is not the same thing as innocence. Before, you didn't know. You know what I mean? But now, you can't be ignorant to the fact. You know what I mean? And to each his own. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, well, these are methods that have been with us since the beginning of time. Even even towards our uh, system today, you know what I mean, the Americas, as far as our Native American shamanism and our uh, hoodoo and whatnot, you know, it's always been a form of cleansing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gotta do that cleansing, family. Gotta do that cleansing.
got to do that cleansing. You know what I mean? You got to remember that Mother Earth is an entity. She's a living being. You know, the planets are gods, generators, operators, destroyers. And you know, Mother Earth, you know, kind of like everything else, works in phases. You know, when she was farthest away from the sun, she was in the maiden stage. Now, unless she moved closer to the sun, you know, she's in the, the mother phase. And dealing with this 444 Earth portal, you know, we kind of crossed over to another Earth portal with one night, you know. And then eventually she'll be in the crone phase, you know. And then what happens is she resets herself, you know what I mean? That's just what it is, you know what I mean? We've been on a 24,000-year a 24, sun cycle, you know. It's been to come to an end. You know, all things must come to an end. So, you know, once we reset, you know what I mean? That's why the powers that be are doing everything that they can right now before the time is up because they know that the time is, is coming up real soon. You dig what I'm saying? But other than that, peace, family. And please make sure that you always have your spiritual tools, you know, for cleansing, smudging, you know, you know, um, for, you know, uh, cleansing an area, you know, making your area a sacred place. You know what I mean? Peace, peace, family. Peace. Stay woke.